Welcome to Chris Lim for Co.uk Get Going Guides. We're going to be looking at some effects that you can do with rollovers um, for this tutorial. Now we looked at a past uh, tutorial on how to make a button uh, and we had this uh, film uh, icon that we wanted to make a button and we put a rollover on it so the image swapped to uh, a different one. So what we're going to do is to make that a bit more dynamic on this one, so I'm going to duplicate the page by uh, the item by doing a command D uh, or to item menu and duplicate and then I'm going to import a new image which is the other uh, film button and just to remind you uh, what it looked like if we do a rollover so we go to item actions and we can scroll down to rollover uh, and then if we go to the actions window we can then say which one do we want to be the rollover. So we can preview this uh, in the browser and it rolls over and changes the image. Well that's all very nice but we want to do something a little bit more uh, dynamic uh, than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this image bigger. So as long as your image that you're using to roll over sits on top or has some connection with the um, image underneath uh, then the rollover will still take effect so what we need to do then is just to resize that image so we can go to image graphics scale and pad and we should still have the rollover in effect now let's see what has happened when we view this in the browser. So when I do it, it actually jumps up. You can also make it look smaller so it looks like you're pushing a button down or it can look like something's coming up. So when you have an on click it could move down a bit for it as well. So you can do all sorts of different effects. So just to show that it doesn't need to be directly on top I'm just going to move it over here so that it only has a little bit of a connection going on. And you can see as soon as they actually connect the whole bounding box of the table uh, appears on it. If I move them away then it gets uh, removed. We'll look at how to do remote rollovers or slave rollovers uh, in the next tutorial. So now let's preview that and you can see that when I roll it over the image will move and it will grow. And you can use all sorts of different effects. You can distort things, you can have different uh, animations going on if you wanted to make an animated GIF uh, rollover you could have all sorts of different things so it's a lot of things like you might need think you need flash to do but you can actually do it in freeway so visit me on www.chrislinford.co.uk you can download uh, these files from uh, that website uh, with a freeway document and all the assets to work with uh, and you can find me on iTunes and YouTube <laughs>